What's up YouTube, Saf here on Super Saf TV and today we're talking HTC One M10. So 2015 wasn't such a great year for HTC. We had the HTC One M9, which didn't really offer much new and failed in the one department which mattered most and that's the camera. And then we had the iPhone A9. I mean, HTC One A9, yeah. But anyway, because of all of that, there is a lot relying on HTC to do well this year with their new flagship, and that should be in the form of the HTC One M10. There hasn't been too many rumors and leaks compared to lots of other devices, but there's enough to give us a bit of a picture of what to expect, and that's what we're doing in this video. So initially, in terms of the name, HTC Perfume is the code name that's been flying around. Now, it's very unlikely that the final device will actually be called HTC Perfume, but that is the code name. It is most likely gonna be called the HTC One M10, but there are some rumors that we might be having a name change and it might be called the HTC O2. Now, this is also possible because HTC might wanna move away from the M brand, which hasn't been doing too well and come up with something fresh, but the M10 is what we're gonna be calling it in this video and is what most likely it is gonna be called. Now, in terms of the display, we're looking at a 5.1 inch display, so a slight upgrade from the five inch display of the M9. And also the technology, the screen technology is likely to be AMOLED rather than LCD. Now, I personally prefer AMOLED displays. You have deeper blacks and high contrast ratios. So I personally do prefer AMOLED displays and it will be nice if they go in this direction. We're also gonna be seeing an up in resolution. So Quad HD 2560 by 1440. Last year, HTC opted for the 1080p displays on their flagship devices and that meant that the displays weren't up there with the competition from the likes of Samsung and LG. So this should be nice that we're gonna be seeing some upgrades here. Now in terms of the design and build, we haven't seen too much leaked as yet, but this image was leaked a few days ago, which is the front of the potential HTC One M10. And Ivan Blas at leaks has said that if you like the A9, then you're gonna love the M10. So this would hint that the M10 is gonna be looking more like the A9 rather than the M9. And lots of rumors are pointing to this direction, but we might also be seeing something in between, which would be quite interesting. Without a doubt, the build is gonna be metal though. HC are known for providing some premium metal builds for lots of their previous flagships. So this is something that we're almost certainly gonna see. And although this will mean that the M10 will be premium, it's gonna be slippery in the hand. And there's a great way to overcome that, and that's with a D-brand skin. And I'd like to thank them for making this video possible. If you wanna customize the look of your device as well as protect it from scratches, then a D-brand skin is the way to go. They have skins for lots of different devices, including smartphones, tablets, as well as consoles. And it's a great inexpensive way to make your device stand out from the crowd. I'm gonna be leaving a link to them in the description below. Be sure to go ahead to their website and check out what they've got available. Now, moving on to the internals, we're most likely gonna be seeing the Snapdragon 820 powering the HTC One M10. The Snapdragon 820 is most likely gonna be the processor we're gonna be seeing for a lot of Android flagship devices this side of year, supposed to be quite efficient and also not overheat, so that should be pretty nice. And we're also expecting four gigabytes of RAM for the M10, which will be definitely nice for multitasking. In terms of storage, we're looking at 32 gigabytes. Most rumors are pointing towards 32 gigabytes with expandable storage. This does seem likely because the previous HTC flagships have had expandable storage, so this is very likely to continue over onto the M10. Now let's talk about one of the most interesting features and that's the camera. HTC haven't done too great with cameras in the past. We had four ultra pixels, then we had the dual uh, camera lens, and then we had 20 megapixels, although the camera wasn't too good. So HTC this year are rumored to go for something in between, so 12 ultra pixels, so those will be slightly larger pixels, which will let in more light. So that should improve low light images, but at the same time, you should have plenty of resolution to crop and play around with. Laser assisted autofocus is also rumored, as well as optical image stabilization. A few of the previous flagships from HTC have not had optical image stabilization, so it would be great to have this back. Now, for the front facing camera, there aren't actually too many details in terms of the resolution. I would suspect between four to eight megapixels. We had four megapixels for the M9, and the front-facing camera was pretty good. These were ultra pixels, so better for those low-light selfies. 
But one rumor is that we might be seeing optical image stabilization for the front facing camera as well. That will be very interesting because that should further help in low light situations and especially for those one handed selfies that a lot of people take. So there's a lot relying on the cameras of the HTC One M10 to be good and if it has these features then it does look promising. In terms of the operating system, we're looking at Android Marshmallow with HTC Sense UI 8.0 on top, so the latest version. And this is said to be more closer to stock Android, which is always great, but we don't have too many details on that as yet. Now, moving on to the additional features, we're very likely to see a fingerprint scanner on the HTC One M10. This is something that was missing from the M9, but was on the A9. This is likely to be on the front of the device. Now, that doesn't mean that we might be losing those boom sound speakers and that's what rumors are suggesting that we're no longer going to see those trademark boom sound speakers that are the front of the device. I personally will be disappointed by this. This is a unique and key selling point for HTC M devices. If they do get rid of this, then I'm pretty sure a lot of people are not going to be happy. Now, it's rumored that they're going to be looking more to the audio quality that comes out from the headphone jack. So they're going to be adding some features on it to that but it looks like they may be getting rid of those boom sound speakers. We may be seeing USB type C, however, that would be nice. This is the new standard that's going along and has been on many of the new flagships that we've seen. So it's likely that the HTC One M10 may get that also. In terms of the battery, there's some rumors going around that we might be seeing something between 2,500 to 3,000 milliamps. Uh, there's nothing specific as yet. The M9 has a 2,850 milliamp battery. The A9 has a 2,150 milliamp battery. So we are likely to see something around 2,500 to 3,000 milliamps. And a quick charge 3.0 is looking very likely, especially because we have the Snapdragon 820. Nothing about wireless charging as yet, so that's something we're gonna have to wait and see for. Now, when can you hear about this officially and when can you get your hands on it? So initial rumors were talking MWC time with some of the other flagships, so around the 21st to 24th of February, but now it's likely that we're gonna be seeing a separate event about a few weeks after MWC, so early in March time. So that's roughly when we can expect to hear about the HTC One M9 officially, and it should be followed up with a release soon after, so a couple of weeks or maybe even very soon after. So mid to late March is when you can expect to get your hands on the HTC One M10. Price-wise, you can expect to pay your standard flagship prices. So around about 550 pounds here in the UK and around about 650 to $700 in the US off contract. So those are all the leaks and rumors I could find of the HTC One M10. Hopefully that paints a bit of a picture for you in terms of what to expect. Some of these could change. At the end of the day, they are leaks and rumors. They are not always what the final product is. But nevertheless, I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you did, then please do hit that thumbs up button for me. It really does help me out. And if you haven't already, then be sure to subscribe to the channel. I've got plenty more content coming up in here, including in-depth coverage of the new HTC, whatever it's going to be called, as well as the other flagships. If you already subscribed, then be sure to switch on notifications on your smartphone and email so that you get to see those videos first. Thanks for watching. This is Safa on SuperSaf TV, and I'll see you next time.